In 1953, James Watson and Francis Crick built their model of the structure of DNA, the principal features of which are still accepted today. DNA consists of two strands that are complementary in base sequences to each other. A cytosine base in one strand always pairs with a guanine base in the other. An adenine base in one strand always pairs with a thymine base in the other. The complementary nature of the two strands suggested to the scientists a model for DNA replication. They proposed that the old strands serve as templates to make new complementary strands. The two resulting double helices would each contain one new and one old strand. There are other models to consider as well. For example, the old DNA molecule could be preserved, and an entirely new DNA molecule could be produced from it. In yet another model, the result of replication would be two molecules with old and new DNA interspersed along each strand. From your knowledge of DNA replication, which one of these models is correct? Click on the correct model. From your knowledge of DNA replication, drag the correct names to the three models of DNA replication.